Am I live? Can someone ping me and tell me that I am live? Please? Okay. I I I I I think you know I messed up with the <laughs> with the go live button. Uh, so can can just people tell me that if I am live? If I am live, can you go and type on the chat and tell me, hey Shiv, you are live. I am talking from uh, .net .com and I'm I'm on the control room. If someone can just ping me out there and say I'm live. So today's session is all about SSIS. So today my topic here is what exactly is SSIS, uh, what is the need of it and uh, why has Microsoft created this product. It's a very interesting product, it's a very old product and I thought that why not go ahead and uh, share some knowledge around it. Right, so I, I think I'm live now, I think so, right? So uh, any questions please put down on the chat. Thank you very much. I see the first message on YouTube, my, on my YouTube uh out here on this training thank you so i'm live i'm extremely sorry you know i was late so uh let me go ahead and uh let me talk about what exactly is ssi so i'm going to go and uh, share my screen out here so i'm going to go and share my screen and uh, let us discuss you know what exactly is ssis right uh SSIS uh, is a tool you know which is provided by Microsoft it's it's a part of the SQL server family and uh, the main goal of SSIS is to do ETL to extract the data from a source and dump it to a destination so SSIS stands for SQL server integration services and uh, what it helps you to do is that so let us say you have a CSV file as a source and you want to read this data, you want to go and do some transformations on it. Let's say you want to go and change some data into a capital. Uh, let's say you have some text, you want to change it to capital. You have some uh, nulls, you want to remove them. So you want to go and do some transformation out there. So you can do some transformation and then you can dump it into a destination like SQL Server. So basically it helps you to extract, it helps you to do transformation and it helps you to do uh, the loading on the destination so that's what exactly is SSIS and in this training you know what I intend to demo out here is I intend to go and show you a small demo wherein uh, I'm going to go and load this CSV file so you can see uh, I have this CSV file out here and uh, let me go and delete this customer records which have been loaded so you can see here I have a simple customer table and I have this CSV file so what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and read from this CSV file so you can see here this is my CSV file and this one here is my table TBL customer so I want to go ahead and read from this CSV file and I want to dump it into this TBL customer out here so in this small uh, training I'm going to go and do this small demo out here so first thing you can see here, I've opened my Visual Studio out here and what SSIS team has done is, you know, they have provided a lot of components. So you want to go and read from CSV file, here is a flat file source component. You want to go and connect to SQL server, here is a destination component, right? So if you, you can see here, I've created an SSIS project uh, and uh, so I can go here to the toolbox. So you can see here, this is the SSIS toolbox. So I'll go here and I'll say that, okay, my source component is a flat file source. You can see a lot of source components out here. Uh, look at my mouse, ADO.NET source. You want to read from Excel source. You want to read a raw file or a XML file, but ours is a simple CSV file. So I'm going to go and take this flat file source out here. And where do I want to dump it? I want to dump it into this ADO.NET destination. So this is my source and this is my destination. <coughs> now, I'm sorry. Now, if if you see out here on my on my Visual Studio, all the components are red sign. You know, everything is red sign out here. So which indicates that these components have not been configured. So I'm going to go and say right click edit and let me start configuring these components. So I'll say new. First thing I'm configuring my source out here. 
so my csv file is present in my e drive so you can see here i'm going to my e drive i'm going to my csv and i'm taking this customer csv file out here and uh, over here we are saying the row is delimited by enters you can see crlf but the columns are delimited by comma so you can see this is the comma separated right and i'll say okay and this is the columns i'll say okay so this is the flat file source you can see now once i configured the flat file source that red sign has gone off so this indicates that you are on the right direction everything is working nicely right and um, also one just you know a small tip out here whenever you are working with ssis projects please go and give some proper text name to your component because let us say that if you have 20 30 components uh, on this uh, on this designer you will be confused you know what is you know who is doing what right so i can go and i can name this thing cs read csv so you can see read csv and this is uh, dump into SQL Server, dump into the TBL customer table. I'm so sorry to use that word dump. Must be, I'll say load into, <laughs> load into TBL customer, right? So, you can see now this read CSV file has two arrows out here. Uh, I can go ahead and I can snip it. So if you see out here, this, uh, oh, that's so, so let me zoom here. Oh. Ah fine <laughs> so you can see this is the read csv file out here there are two arrows coming out from here one is the green arrow and the other one is the red arrow this green arrow is where you will get the data so whatever is the data read in the csv you will get in the green arrow if there are errors you will get it in the red sign right so at this moment i am just concerned with my data so i'm going to go back now and i will say that take this blue arrow and send it to the second component and now I'll say right click edit out here and this is where I have my uh, my SQL server to be configured. So you can see here I'm saying new connection and I will go and I will give the SQL server name. So I'm copying the SQL server instance out here, the server name and I will put it here and let's give the database name. And we also need to provide that in which table you want to dump it, in which table you want to load it, right? So you can see here, I've said that I want to load it into TBL customer. And you can see that there is here something called as a mapping. So the left hand side is my source. The right hand side is my destination. So from name, I'm connecting to name. But you can see this ID and customer ID, he did not connect, you know, because the, the column names are different. So I'm going to go and smoothly take this and drag and drop and I'll connect it out here. Nice. And I'll say, okay. And there it is. You can see small warnings out here. It says that f the CSV file is having 50 character length, but your uh, customer name, the name of the, uh, f the the length of the field in your SQL server is only 20. So you can see here it's saying it is giving me a truncation warning, which at this moment I will just leave it. Now let me go and run this. So I'm going to go and run this SSIS project out here. So remember that we have like six rows out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can see it has it has it has uh, moved the six rows of the read CSV file into the TBL customer, right? So now if I go back to my SQL server and if I go ahead and fire my select query, you can see that there it is. It has dumped uh, the data into my TBL customer. So basically, SSIS is nothing but it is a ETL tool. It is an ETL tool which helps you to extract the data from a source and dump it to a destination. So, so this was a very simple, you know, what do you call uh, example and explanation of what exactly is SSIS. So, guys, any questions? If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put it in the uh, Q&A box. And very quickly, you know, for uh, uh, for people out here tomorrow at 9 p.m. India time I'm giving we are having a lecture and uh, this lecture is going to uh, go on for like you know three four days so that lecture is completely on MSBI so I'm going to go and talk about SSIS I will talk about SSAS I will talk about SSRS I will talk about Power BI so in case if you are interested the first lecture is free you can go to questpond.com and you can you can try to uh, say that you know can i attend the free lecture so tomorrow at 
9 p.m. India time, uh, we are having this uh, training on uh, MSBI. So we have it on Saturday 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. India time and again on Sunday 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. India time. So if you're interested, please go and uh, uh, check out there. Now let us go and see the questions. So uh, let me see the questions out here. Let's see if, uh, okay. Yeah, insert data is better. I just use the word dumb data. So any questions out here? I'm sorry guys, I started late. Uh, I think I, I, I thought I was live. So I went ahead and I recorded for 20 minutes and then I came to know I'm not live. So I'm so sorry that I was late. So any questions here? Any questions? Let me know. If you have any questions, you can put down on the chat below and I will try to answer them. And also I would suggest everyone to join my telegram channel. So I have a telegram channel out there, you know, wherein uh, I keep announcing, you know, when I take up any course. So if you go and join the telegram channel, you would get updates. Uh, okay. How do I go and send a message? Uh, I think I can't send a message. Is it? Okay, I can. So guys, here is my telegram channel. Uh, if you can go and join the telegram channel whenever I take any training those trainings I announce on the telegram channel yeah any questions any queries let me know thank you DJ you have always been an inspiration thank you for coming to this training Okay, guys, so I will end this stream out here. And uh, if there are any questions, I will go and I will reply them on the chat. So I'm going to go now and log in into the chat and I will try to answer your questions, right? So I'm thankful for people who have come live and uh, seen this, uh, uh, you know, seen this training. Uh, so for, for Q&A, uh, let me come to the chat and let me answer your questions on the chat. Because the streaming of YouTube, you know, takes a lot of time. It has a lot of lag. So when I talk here, it comes to you after 10 minutes. So I can't just wait here for 10 minutes, you know, watching your questions, right? So let me let me go and stop this uh, stop this streaming out here and let me come to the chat out there and let me discuss with you. Thank you. And uh, tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. India time and day after tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. India time, do not miss my MSPI and Power BI lessons. Thank you.